Hello everyone, it is a Sunday evening and I'm bored, so I decided to play some Fall Guys and talk about politics because this is going to be a pretty um, interesting week. I don't want to say it's going to be an exciting week, it's going to be an interesting week because Joe Biden will be inaugurated and I am expecting uh, shit to hit the fan, maybe not as much as like the Capitol riot, but I do think that there's going to be some fuckery to, wa to watch out for. Uh, but I want to talk about the end of the Trump era. I think prior to the Capitol riot, I would have said, you know what, the Trump era, even if he's out of office, it's not going to be over because he still has a lot of sway and influence in the Republican Party and Trumpian politics in and of itself, like excluding Donald Trump, his style, the demagoguery, um, that is popular. That works really well with the Republican base. Um, so I don't think that that's going to go away. But now that Donald Trump had a huge dip in his approval rating, um, now that he has outraged a lot of folks and people are switching their party affiliation away from Republican, um, you know, now it's a real question. You know, what does this mean for Republican Party politics going forward? And I do see them still shifting to the right. Um, it's a matter of like, how will Republican politics play out? I'm gonna lose this round like immediately. Yeah, that's gonna be terrible. Because um, I wanna at least talk for like 10 minutes. Oh my God, I'm getting, I'm getting like in the crowd. Oh God. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm not very good at multitasking. I can either talk or play, but I can't do both. Oh, maybe this big eat is full. There we go, come on, come on. Okay. We're still alive. Top 50% even. Um, what was I saying? Um, but like, I don't know what's going to happen. The Trump era, I think, will basically be over. Uh, going forward, I think that what we're going to see is Republican politicians try to emulate Donald Trump's style, but tone it down a little bit. Like, no more mean tweets, but still, they're going to not do dog whistle racism. I think that they, they uh, Trump proved to Republicans that uh, if they are more racist, more explicit in the way that they appeal to the right-wing base of the Republican Party, you know, more explicit in how they talk about race and, um, you know, uh, different religions, um, immigration, I think that they know that's going to make them more electorally viable. The more explicit you are, the more that's going to appeal to the base. So, um, you know, the question is, what does that mean for the Republican Party going forward? And so, you know, it is going to be interesting because as of Wednesday, the Trump era will officially be over. And it's really going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if politics is going to be more boring. I hope it's going to be more boring. Like, I'm really sick of the chaos nonstop. You know, the thing that I'm looking forward to, you know, I'm not a fan of Biden, but I am looking forward to being proven right about how bad liberals are and how bad corporate Democrats are. Um, I'm going to use this opportunity to prove to people that it's leftist politics that is the way of the future. And Biden, like, out of the gate is already face planting. Like, the number one thing that they did is fuck up when it comes to stimulus checks. They promised 2000 Raphael Warnock sent out these mailers that with like a fake $2,000 check, and it said, vote for Democrats, vote for Warnock and Ossoff, and you will get this, and now they're already saying, oh, well, 1400 I mean, look, when all eyes are on you, when you control all branches of government, accountability is going to be 100%. And so the left, socialists, anti-capitalists, we're going to use this opportunity to say, look, this is not working. The Democratic Party, you know, them being market-based, neoliberal, this isn't a viable strategy. They're going to get wiped out. And I've got a lot of new viewers that probably came to the channel over the election. We always get more viewers, you know, during elections. And um, a lot of them are probably liberals and don't necessarily know about the neoliberalism and the terribleness, quite frankly, of the Democratic Party. And it is my goal to educate them, let them know that moving left is the future. My dog's showing you one on the background. Say hi, Zoya. Um, so, you know, this is going to be interesting. I think that a lot of people are going to expect more normality going forward, and maybe at least when it comes to, like, decorum, we'll see kind of like, oh, fuck me, um, we'll see a return to quote-unquote normal now that Biden is president. 
But that doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to be okay. Like, the material conditions that led to Donald Trump, they're still gonna be there. Like, it's not going to suddenly get better. We're still dealing with a pandemic. And, you know, things... Things are still bad. We have a long ways to go in this country before, um, you know, things are better. And I don't know where to even begin. Like, and that's when we get, like, truly progressive folks elected to Congress. Like, we have mostly centrists in control of the Democratic Party. Oh, fuck. Um, hang on, I'm so close to the finish line. Okay. Fuck you, oh, okay. Um, we have mostly, like, centrists in control. We have basically a moderate Republican in the White House, and you know, how much progress can you make? Like, how many incremental fixes will he institute? I mean, sure, these incremental steps are better than nothing. As long as you're going forward and making some progress that's important, that means something. The problem is that if we don't, like, change the system in and of itself, that's not going to mean anything. Like, if, if we don't get anything other than, like, um, executive orders, the next Republican administration is going to reverse all of that. If we don't actually change... Um, the voter suppression tactics that we see, you know, um, reinstate the Voting Rights Act, make sure that we make a DC and Puerto Rico states, I, I just can't see how, you know, things are going to improve. And I absolutely hate this level because they just fling giant fruits at you. And the entire time, every single time, I fucking uh, get knocked off whenever they shoot bananas at you. It's just, it's chaos, and, uh, people get in your way, and fuck you up. Oh, I almost got hit by that banana. Okay, I'm not gonna talk politics during this, because I've gotta focus. This is serious business here. Fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna die already. It's too late. If you don't, like, on this level, if you don't come out of the gate, like, doing really well, it's over. Oh! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, fuck! Got hit by the apple. Yeah, I'm, it's over for me. It was a nice run, but uh, I'm dead. Dead man walking. Oh, maybe not. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, this is this is a nail biter. I think I'll make it to the final if I can make it here. Oh man. Oh man. Come on. Oh. Uh, that was really uh, really stressful. <laughs> Fall Guys is serious business, and I haven't really been playing this game as much, but they just, like, released the Doom Guy costume, and that brought me back. Um, I haven't even played uh, Doom Eternal yet, but that brought me back, because I think it looks so cool. Uh, but anyways, uh, politics. What was I saying? Um, yeah, things are gonna be different. We're heading into a new era. Um, and, uh, yeah. So... With that being said, I'm going to stop talking about politics. I think I've made my point, and we'll see if I can last uh, and win, get a crown, uh, because this is the final round. Uh, I've only played this final round like a couple of times. I don't like it because I'm not very good at it, and people fuck with you the entire time. Like, they grab you like that and be assholes, <laughs> and you come back and fuck with me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get my ass beat over here. It's just too chaotic. Oh, one person fell off. Okay, we're doing all right so far. Oh, God. Ooh, almost fell off. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nail biter. I know I'm probably not going to win, but if I can make it to like the top four, then I'll be, I'll be happy. I'll, I'll feel satisfied like I accomplished something. Oh, I almost killed myself. This game is such a fun game to just like play and veg out to and not really like think and shut off your brain to. It kind of helps me uh, decompress after a stressful week of politics. Oh wow, it's going fast now. <sighs> People aren't dying fast enough. Oh man. <laughs> Ugh, we're gonna get in each other's way.
okay, I'm already in the top four, so I'm at my goal. Now let's see if I can actually win. Doubtful. Okay, we're almost we're almost there. I could win this. Probably not though, because this game is uh these these people are good. Like they're hanging in there. I kinda wanna grab them, but the minute I do, I know I'm gonna fuck myself over. So I'm I'm not I'm just gonna play clean. I'm not gonna fuck with people and hope that they won't fuck with me. Oh, this is going so fast. This is extremely stressful, but it's fun. Oh fuck. Oh, oh that was so close. Oh my god. Did I win? Did I actually win? Oh! <laughs> yes! Holy shit. Okay, so this is great. I'm definitely uploading this now since I won. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, I just won a round of Fall Guys. And um, I feel like I made a coherent political point, but I am not good at multitasking. Oh, and I level up, I believe. Yeah. So, gonna be an interesting week, folks. Stay tuned.